So have you been riding at all in between rounds? Absolutely not. <laughs> Just uh, working my full-time job at Grace Industries, running dozers and stuff. Uh, went out to Joel Hetrick's last weekend and uh, didn't get too lucky with the weather, so we ended up not riding on Sunday. It was pretty upset, but been training really hard with the program. All the riders that were hanging out at our trainer Dom's this week, Sam Rowe, Tommy Vossman, Ryan Grody, Jacob Stevens. It was a good two weeks of training, so uh, I'll be ready no matter what. Rain, shine, uh, even without riding, I think I'll be good. So we're going to come in here and hopefully get another solid top 10 finish. Is a high point uh, track that you like riding? Awesome track. I'm super bummed about the weather. I'm out here today watching how much fun everyone looks like they're having. Not fun being here, having to watch that, but uh, you know, I wish we could ride today or, or at least race today. It would have been awesome, but you know, it doesn't always work out for us. But uh, I'm so excited for it. You know, we're ready for the mud. We got big tires, big hand guards, full air box, so we'll be ready. All right, well, good luck out there, mate. Thank you. No, I haven't. It feels uh, feels awesome. I was actually second leaving Daytona, but. Uh, you know, this late in the year, going into round five here at High Point, uh, never really been that high. You know, I just been in like fourth or fifth last year coming into this race, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, just keep it going. Maybe gain some points on the top guys, or just you know stay in third and just try to try to keep it consistent this weekend. How do you usually do out here at High Point? I do pretty good. Um, last year, I didn't have the best of luck. Me and me and Ronnie Higgerson got uh, together and ended up wrecking, but. Uh, this year, I think we'll, we'll be uh, just fine with that. This Baldwin motor getting me out front early, and uh, my whole shots have been a lot better this year getting on that Honda. So it's uh, that always helps, you know. Of course, so we're gonna go out here and uh, just, just uh, ride smart, really, you know. Do you uh, consider this track a local track for you? Um, I would consider it pretty local. I mean, it's still about six hours away, but at the same time, uh, I live in New Jersey, and this is Pennsylvania, so it's. Uh, the next state over, so I would, yeah, I would consider it local. What's your thoughts on the track so far? I love the track. I always have. I like when Randy Polder comes out here and grooms it for us. Uh, I think it's really important for us quad guys that we have option lines. Um, if not, I think we'd all take the same line, to be honest. But um, the track's really good. A lot of good elevation. I love tracks with a, a lot of elevation. So um, hopefully the weather holds off. Um, but you know, if not, we're here. We're racing regardless, and we're gonna make uh, the best of it. All right, well, good luck out there, Nick. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, I think it looks pretty good right now. I wish we were going to race on it. looks like the uh, rain's coming in, and it's going to be a uh, muddy mess. But uh, right now, the track looks sick. How do you usually do here? Here, it's uh, I don't know, it's a love-hate relationship. Normally, I do okay, but the track normally uh, I always seem to struggle with a little bit. So I'm always seem to find lines, but by the end of the day, I normally can put it together. All right, well, good luck out there. I'll see you out there tomorrow. Thank you, sir. All right, John, you won your last year. You've already said before that High Point's one of your somewhat favorite tracks. How are you feeling coming into, uh, we're here Friday, but how are you coming into the week? I'm uh, feeling good. I've been preparing for mud or, you know, a solid nice weekend, so I think we're ready for both. The track looks really fun. They're, uh, they're doing the right thing today. They're keeping it hard packed and dry for uh, whatever weather we do get. I'm really excited, though, of winning here in 14 and 15. This is one of my favorite tracks. Uh, I do well here. I like it. I like how it flows. I mean, I like the jumps. It's just, it's home to me, so it's, uh, it's going to be fun. So, um, you guys tomorrow. What, what do you do differently everything we can do to keep the most mud off me and the helmet so my helmet doesn't drag down. That's one of the biggest things is your helmet starts to get heavy and you have to look up like this and it's just a hassle. That's why I tossed my goggles at uh, Iron Man. I just couldn't do it. And then if you have no goggles, you can't make a pass. So it's, it's, pretty, it's a bummer. Right, well, I good luck out there, Thanks, Bob. Yeah. So, uh, we're coming into High Point Odyssey here now. Weather's not supposed to be so great tomorrow. Um, I would consider you a good rain rider. Obviously, you don't want the rain, but yeah. you're ready for it. What, uh, what do you do to prepare a bike for the rain? Well, we put this guy in charge. 
Well, uh, well, we got a really, we got a great setup on the mod. And, uh, it just seems like once we got on the Yamaha, everything really started clicking. I think it works really well in the rain. We throw the big Maxxis tires on, and uh, you know, we put the full fenders on. You know, tape everything up, and you know, we got a rip good start. So, I mean, that's been uh, that's been key all year long. And we had kind of a, a wet, muddy start the first moto last round, and we ripped a really good start and got the whole shot. So. We're gonna to look to do that this weekend, you know. Rain or shine, you know we're gonna be ready for it either way. I noticed a lot of guys don't really prepare for the mud as well as you do with the big tires and the, you know taking on the front end yep. and your roll offs. Did you get any of those hints and tips from Chris Borch? Um, not well, actually. Gallagher gave me a lot of tips, you know, on uh, like running like the double goggles and like certain ways to tape everything up and like getting the hand guards a little more extended, you know, just trying to protect everything a little bit better and, uh, you know, the foam on the helmets. I learned that from Digger, you know, Doug Gust, and uh, there's just certain things you learn over the years and, uh, you know, you carry that on every single year and try and, you know, make your setup just that much better. So. All right, well, uh, good luck to you out there, Mark. Thanks. Not much, man. Just chilling at the chilling at the old bar. Now, just kidding. We're up at here at Gloop's house here in Morgantown, West Virginia, uh, prepping some goggles right now, getting ready for tomorrow's race. And uh, looks like Mother Nature's gonna give us some rain, so got to make sure my tear off game's strong. You gonna run your mud set up? You gonna run? Um, we actually prepped the bike a little bit today with uh, some mud mud set up. We did not put the big tires on. We were kind of gonna kind of wait to see what uh, what tomorrow morning brought and then uh, you know make a decision from there but we do have the mud tires if we need to go to them so uh, we'll just have to wait and see I guess. All right well good luck out there Sean. Thanks man.